Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Now, before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription really helps build the channel. You know what? Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. Last week, I gave you some background on Ria's Baishas. Feel free to check out the episode to get the full story. The, sto the short version is that Ria's Baishas is in the region of Galicia in Spain. It is located along the Atlantic Ocean in the far northwest part of the country. It sits directly over northern Portugal. It's best known for white wines made from Albarino. Winemaking has happened in there for like 2,000 years, dude. Anyway, however, <laughs> Albarino hasn't been the main grape until after 1900. Now, today's show is all about Bodega Santiago Ruiz. According to the website, Santiago is considered the father of Albarino. His family has been making wine uh, since 1860 when his grandfather founded the winery. The winery's website says this, a firm proponent of the use of Orosal's native varieties, Santiago Ruiz was finally able to dedicate himself to his true vocation when he was 70 years old after retiring from his job as a machinery and naval insurance salesman. Dude, this was in 1981. 16 years before that, his first daughter, his first daughter, daughter, daughter was married at the winery. The jersey came out. She drew a map, okay, for the guests to know how to get to the winery. And, well, that became the label you see here. <laughs> That's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, no, so Santiago became a pioneer wine uh, producer, being the first to bring stainless steel tanks to the area. He was a strong advocate for wines made from Alborino and Rias Baixas wines in general. He is succeeded by his youngest daughter, Rosa. So while Albarino is the main grape for their wines, they also use Loreda, Trejador, and Caño Blanco. I think I said that one right. Anyway, while last week's wine was from the coolest and wettest region in Rio Spicious, this winery is located in Orosal. It gets less rain and more sunshine than the others, despite it being right on the Atlantic Ocean. They own 38 hectares of 15 to 20 year old south facing vineyards. Grapes are early ripening in the mild climate. All grapes are hand harvested then go to a sorting table where only the best grapes are selected by hand. They use sustainable farming practices by farming organically. This includes using cover crops, which helps with numerous things, including biodiversity, water management, weed management, and other benefits. They also use water conservation techniques. Besides all that, how cool is this? There's a wine key on there. How do you, why, like, when was the last time you had a wine with a wine key on it? Anyway. Here are the stats for the wine. The 2020 Santiago Ruiz Pure O Rosal. Suggested retail price is $20. Rias Baixas is the appellation. It's a blend of 72% Albarino, 13% Loreo, 6% Caino Blanco, 5% Trejadura, and 4% Godeo, which I didn't mention as one of the main grapes, but it's one of the grapes you can use in Rias Baixas. It is also hand harvested. There's Lee's contact, though how long is not mentioned. Its alcohol is 12.5%. Its total acidity is 6.9 grams per liter. The pH is 3.37. The VA, uh, we saw this in last, week, last week's stat uh, sheet, uh, which is still unusual, 0 0.23 grams per liter. All right, so now we're getting into a couple things. TPC is 8 milligrams per liter. This is known as total phenolic content. This is a rare stat on a tech sheet. Then we have what is listed as A420 in, in an unusual thing here, 0 0.058 grams per liter. Um, so A420 is usually a color. I have literally have never seen this on a wine tech sheet before. So it's really confusing. So first of all, what's up with total phenolic content? Well, the theory is that the more of this in a wine, or also I think a juice, um, the better or healthier the wine is. It has to do with antioxidants. The A420, I have no clue. Uh, the thing is, in my research, this refers to a specific color. 
in relation to wine, it seems like it's only used in red wines. There are three colors they measure, uh, A420, 520, and A6, A620. But these are in nanometers, not a grams per liter thing. If you know what the deal is with this, please let me know. I reached out to my Facebook peoples uh, and a couple different forums and nobody replied because I have a feeling that nobody knew what the heck was going on with A420. And nobody actually gave me a, an idea of what a good number for TPC is. So I don't know if this is a, a average number, a high number, a low number. I, I don't think I've ever seen TPC on a, on a stat sheet. I've heard of TPC in wine. Um, that's how I knew what it was when I saw the TPC on it, but it's unusual. So let's check this out. So first of all, we just got to get the... As you can tell, I haven't had any of the wine. So we gotta get this, take this thing off here. I'm about to say, you kinda need a wine key just to get the, the plastic off. Well, here we go. I wonder if there was actually an easier way to do this. So I appreciate the fact that they, they did this. this. You know what's kinda cool? And that when I first saw this, I was like, this would be really cool if like you're going, if you like are buying this at the store and um, you know, you're like, well, I don't have a wine key or like you're traveling and you know, you're, you hit it, you hit like a, a grocery store or something like that. And you're trying to get a wine and you're like, oh, well, I don't have a wine key. I don't have a wine opener. Well, it comes with one. And honestly, this is like, this is your standard pull tap type of thing. Um, it looks really nice. You know, I mean, it's shiny and really cool and, you know, matches the label and all that. I personally don't use that style of wine key, uh, but it's the most common wine key. Uh, usually kind of called the waiter's friend. The style that I typically use is a, um, it's, it's a double, it's a double hinged, but the hinge has a little, whatchamacallit, a little spring. So it doesn't, you don't have an issue where when you're pulling out the cork, it gets stuck on the, on the uh, hinge. Then at home, I have a single hinge here at home. I use a single hinge pretty much to open all my wines. That's actually my preferred style. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt because you're, when you're pulling the, when you're pulling the cork out, it, you, this is, has the advantage that you have an extra bit of leverage and you can pull the cork straight out. When you're doing it with just a single, you tend to kind of pull the cork off and you have the potential of breaking the cork. So that's why someone was genius and created a double hinged one. And then someone created the double hinge with the little spring action, which is even more genius. 
All right, so let's check it out. So, um, you know, light straw color. It's actually kind of a little mini medium minus. I get a little bit of green in here too. Of course, all the bubbles from the Coravin, but uh, let's check it out. So I call it a little bit about medium on the on the aromatics. It smells really good, by the way. I kind of get this orange. I, I honestly get like a, I thought I get like a little touch of vanilla on this. That might be kind of, I definitely get orange on this. A little white flowers, which I mean, this is what you should be getting from Albarino. But it's really much like orange and white flowers. Like maybe a little bit of other citrus, maybe a touch of stone fruit like peach. I expect my nose itch. The bubbles, which are should be the core of him, but there might be some carbonation in this. Let's just check it out. So it's all about the palette. You get really tart orange. You get a little green apple in this too. Uh, you get a little bit of peach. There is a touch of that white floral. There is a bit of salinity on this. Um, I don't know. I I, can't, I think I think I think this is number two of 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 the of the uh, of the Rias Bicious. So if it is, then uh, then that's cool that it's number two because I'm about to tell you that I didn't get really salinity on the other one. Yes, yes, this is number two. Remember, I'm I'm doing all these in a, in a weird order. But anyway, so the um, I do get a touch of salinity on this. I don't remember getting the the Grand Bazan. I, I don't really remember getting too much salinity on that. But there's a touch of salinity. I actually kind of really in the nose right now. But this is definitely a quaffable, easy to drink wine. Having a little technical issues here, so I'm just gonna keep going. Anyway, yeah, this is um, this is super, super delicious. Absolutely super delicious. I mean, I'm going to definitely enjoy this wine. I don't know when I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm definitely going to enjoy this wine. Yeah, so you got that orange. You got that really great acidity. Uh, it can really stand up some really good food. Uh, your typical, like, you know, white meats, pork. Um, you can even do some salads, fruit. You can definitely do this, you know, I know you're watching this in the fall or the winter, but you can definitely pair this with, with other foods that, you know, seafood, totally seafood. You probably, if you like some oysters, you probably do some oysters with this. I think it'll be great with oysters. I, I, I know, you know, if you watch the show, you know, I don't like seafood at all, but I have an idea of what all these seafoods are like. Uh, but yeah, oysters, I think it'd be a great pairing with this. Yeah, you should get the wine. If you're, uh, if you see it, especially because you get that wine key, that's pretty cool, right? All right, so that's going to do it for, uh, it's going to do for the wine and uh, for the show. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and subscribe. How about that? And then tell all your friends, and until next time, have some Reese Bites. Heck yeah.